The Americans solidified itself as one of the greatest shows on TV in 2016, with its most intense season so far. As the Jennings dealt with terrifying bioweapons and the ongoing threat of their identities as Russian spies being exposed, we saw several characters deal with notably permanent, upsetting consequences for their actions. We're in trouble. I know. Donald Glover added to his already impressive resume with the new FX comedy Atlanta, creating and starring in this look at a couple of guys starting from the bottom in the Atlanta music scene. Offbeat and unique, Atlanta wasn't afraid to get serious and surreal, yet still delivered big laughs along the way. He's hot right now, you should work with him. Man, speaking as your manager, you know? Just because you dress like a sixth grader don't make you my manager, man. Season two of Marvel's Daredevil excelled at action and story while giving us a much more complex and layered season than the first. Matt Murdock's ideas about the sanctity of human life and the possibility of true redemption were tested via the crowd-pleasing introduction of Elektra and the Punisher. I need to take care of the scum that killed my family. Game of Thrones season six delivered tremendous, jaw-dropping moments of spectacular sequences that stand as some of the show's best. And while it wouldn't be Game of Thrones without some heartbreaking deaths, this also stood out as a year with a surprising amount of victorious and happy moments for the show's more heroic characters. He's my king, from this day until his last day. The People vs. O.J. Simpson succeeded across the board, setting a high bar for the new American Crime Story anthology series. Even though we knew the outcome of this famous case, the look at the environment it took place in, plus the individuals involved and in how their own lives were impacted, made for riveting television. Mr. Darden. This case is a circus. We need to turn up the pressure. We have enough pressure. The fifth and final season of CBS's perpetually underrated person of interest was a magnificent display of heart and smarts. It was a thrilling, intelligent action adventure that stabbed wickedly at the heart of the artificial intelligence debate and provided one of the best series finales of all time. We're all gonna have a really bad day. Stranger Things quickly became a deserved summer sensation for Netflix. Creators Matt and Ross Duffer did a rather amazing job of combining the varied tones of creators like Steven Spielberg and John Carpenter, among several other 1980s era influences, and making it all feel at home together. The series went from moments of wonder to moments of terror, anchored by a group of commendably strong kid actors. The Demogorgon is tired of your silly human bickering! Becoming the new show seemingly everyone was talking about, HBO's Westworld took the core concept of Jurassic Park creator Michael Crichton's 1973 movie and definitely expanded upon it in bold and exciting ways. Its focus on both the people running a Wild West theme park and the robots created to inhabit it asked thoughtful questions about what defined our humanity while providing some big reveals along the way that had us all questioning the nature of our reality. No choice you ever made was your own. Any concerns that Veep might suffer thanks to creator Armando Iannucci departing the series were overcome in a big way this year, as the HBO comedy delivered its best season yet. As an intense, real-life presidential race was underway, Veep continued to offer its own wickedly clever, comedic version of Washington, D.C., with Julia Louis-Dreyfus and her co-stars again providing one laugh after another in some of the show's most memorable moments to date. Lift me up. Yes, lift her up. Lift no, I mean, actually lift me up, because I'm oh, okay. my... yep. You're the Worst again set the bar high with season three, following up its impressive sophomore season with a year of comedy that challenged television depictions of grief, PTSD, abortion, and family. That it did so while still being laugh out loud funny is an impressive feat and a testament to showrunner Stephen Falk's skills as a storyteller. You're the Worst never becomes saccharine as it tells its love story, never becomes preachy as it explores relevant issues, and remains must-watch television for lovers of the medium. But can't that be okay? Those are our 10 nominees for the best series of 2016. Come back in early January to find out which of these awesome shows won, and be sure to check our picks for best game and best movie of 2016. Until then, stick with us here at IGN.